All right, everyone, uh, we're here. We're going to start on step one. What we're going to do says dimple the parts as shown in the correct direction with the right size dimple dies. Dimple both sides, upper and lower surfaces, only one side. Um, I've gone ahead. I've, I've ground down part of that because I've read some other guys build a blog and they said to do that. And as I get some of these parts, you do. You do have to do that. If you left it round, it would uh, leave a crease right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to dimple this. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a tripod over here. All right, I got a close up here. So just kind of put this in. I need to get a new o-ring on my thing because it, um, it keeps falling out. But look, so let's take this flush rivet. I may have to adjust that a little bit more and redo that one. Hold on just a sec. Let's do that. Let's adjust this. And turn on another quarter turn. I want to try. Let's redo that hole. So I just adjusted uh, the dimple die down a little bit to make a bigger hole. I've got the flush rivet that's supposed to fit in this hole. Let's see if that fits. It may still be a little tight. Yeah, let's adjust it down a little further. Take this plastic off. All right, let's make a little bit more of an adjustment. We'll get it here. Let's just let's make another half a turn. All right, let's give that a try. Let's try a new hole. Let's try this one right here slowly make adjustments um, until it looks about right. Let's see if that... Well, that looks about right, right there. Just a little bit more. Let's see what that will do if we do just a little more. Okay. Let's try one more. Peel some of this plastic away. All right, let's try this one. That flush rivet will fit in there. Yeah, look. I think that's pretty good right there. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to time lapse and uh, go ahead and I'm going to dimple pretty much where the skin attaches to all these ribs. It, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Also, uh, what I'm doing here, as I uh, get ready to dimple, it has a protective film layer on there. And as I pull that off, it has the part number on that uh, on a sticker attached to the plastic. So I'm taking a Sharpie marker 
I'm writing the part number very carefully and the name of the part. Um, that way as I peel off that protective layer, that part won't get lost and I'll be able to find it. Um, so I'm, I'm marking each part as I go through here. Here I got a couple of visitors. Uh, my niece Amanda is uh, curious what's going on and then I talk her into helping me out a little bit here. Mason also helps me out a little bit. Uh, my nephew and my brother and sister-in-law Randy and Trina come in and visit for a little bit. Uh, I just keep on working though. All right, today we got the pop divot. Uh, dimple dye coming in. We've got to get these spots in this tight corner. So let's put this on the, the nail. Put it through the hole. Have a tight fit. We'll get it. Use this to. There we go. And pop this end down on there. Use your rivet tool and squeeze. And leaves a nice divot, nice dimple. Anyways, I'm gonna go time lapse and uh, do the rest of these that are hard to reach with the DRDT2. Well, we got my brother Randy working in the background. Also his two boys, uh, Shane and Mason are helping him as well as helping me at times. Well, with this pop ribbit uh, dimple die, uh, you gotta kinda take it easy with it. Uh, the first time I used it, well, the first few times I was squeezing it kinda hard, ended up just snapping the nail right off. Uh, so you just gotta kind of uh, just give enough pressure to make the dimple without snapping the, the nail. If you guys want to follow my builder's log, it's online at bradsslingtsi.wordpress.com. Please follow me there. Like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. So far on this... Um, step I spent about three hours and 50 minutes so far in the empanage I'm in eight hours and five minutes thanks for watching see you guys next week